Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at using the effective interest rate to compare two compound interest loans. So what we've got here is Luke is considering a loan of $35,000. His bank has two compound interest rate options. So the first one's at 8.3% compounding monthly and the second one's 78 compounding weekly. So remember the effective interest rate takes into account how often um, the account is compounded which gives us a fairer indicator of what the account actually offers. So we can calculate the effective interest rate on the CAS really easily. So for our first one, 8.3% per annum compounding monthly. So that means in one year, we compound 12 times. So how we'll do this on the CAS. So menu, down to finance, and we're gonna go interest conversion. And we've got that lovely option there, effective interest rate. So as I come up with that, it comes up with the EFF. So of course you can just type that in if you want. Um, so how we use this is we put in our nominal rate of 8.3, comma, how many times it's compounded in a year. So here if it's monthly, it's going to be compounded 12 times in a year. So again, I've got my nominal interest rate of 8.3 and then the number of times it's compounded. So as I press enter, so that gives me an effective interest rate of 8.62-ish. Doing the same for option B. This time I'll just type it out. So EFF. So once again, my nominal rate of 7.8. And then if we're compounding weekly, they're at 52 weeks in a year. So that gives me not an effective interest rate of 8.1-ish. So comparing these two, which one's better for Luke's loan? So because it is a loan, that means we want to pay less money overall, which means we want lower interest rate. So I want a lower effective interest rate. So that means option B with a lower effective interest rate is going to be better for Luke. All right. Thanks for watching for that. And we'll see you all next time.